sentence. Champollion, the crack French cryptologist, translated the hieroglyphics on the Rosetta Stone. Okay, we will begin with parts of speech. Champollion is a noun because he's a person. And then the is an adjective because what is it? It's the crack French cryptologist. And then crack is an adjective in this case. So this is a little bit of a tricky one because under normal circumstances, crack seems like a noun because a crack in the ground, a crack in the foundation. Well, in this case, crack is an adjective. It's describing the cryptologist. So that's why it's an adjective. French is an adjective because what type of cryptologist is it? He's a French cryptologist. Cryptologist noun. And then translated is a verb because that's what Champollion did in the end. These another adjective. Hieroglyphics is a noun because it's a thing. On is another pre is another preposition, kind of like in or of up there. These an adjective once again. And Rosetta Stone is a compound noun because it's a it's a complete thing in and of itself. Okay, we've completed parts of speech for this sentence. Now, we're going to move on to parts of sentence. Here we go. Champollion is our noun subject today. And then, translated is our EVP, because it's what Champollion did. He translated. We have an action verb predicate today. And then we need our direct object score to be hieroglyphics because what did Champollion translate? He translated the hieroglyphics. Okay, so that's our direct object. All right, and now we're gonna be moving on to our, th our third level, clauses. So this, we're gonna introduce a new type of clause with this sentence. The crack French cryptologist is in a positive phrase. And in a positive phrase, interrupts the sentence usually to bring you a definition of a noun. Who is Champollion? Well, he's the crack French cryptologist. That's exactly what an appositive phrase does. So that is our, our first phrase. We still have one more phrase, actually. Okay, our second phrase today is on the Rosetta Stone because we have a preposition, an adjective, and a noun. Okay. Usually prepositional phrases consist of only three words. Next, we have our clauses. So, our clauses is going to be the same as last time. One independent clause because this, this sentence makes sense on its own. It doesn't need a dependent clause to help. And it's a simple sentence um, because it only has one clause. It's a declarative sentence because it's stating a fact, making a statement. Okay, let's try this for the whole thing. Independent clause. Okay, and that concludes the four level sentence analysis for that sentence and for this whole board. Thank you for watching this video and for participating in this four level sentence analysis. So, what do you call?